industry always moves towards efficiency and industry loves automation because industry loves profit so if anything is more efficient and that leads to profit they will do it ai is promising that for every industry but in today's video we'll try to understand how ai is going to reshape and rejuvenate the chemistry industry in fact ai is going to be a boon for all of you and it is not going to replace you rather ai assisted and ai driven chemists are going to be the future of chemistry industry today i'm not here to talk about future great things which can happen in future in a very logical and simple manner how you should strategize and what will be the impact where it will be the impact and where can the jobs get easily available so let's start with computational and predictive chemistry first of all one thing you all should be knowing that quantum chemistry is already exploding and quantum machine learning is accelerating that by the way recently quantum uh, computers uh, by google have solved mathematical problems which was never solvable by supercomputers also for, uh, if they would have taken 1000 years which could be solved in 1 second by a quantum computer by google now having said that this kind of technology is going to enable real time property estimation of molecules and materials it will reduce the time and help us convert a hypothesis or a plain prediction into a real simulation and a real result now why it will explode is because the cost and time barrier is gone you will be able to accurately model and you will be able to unlock discoveries which was previously never possible which was previously too expensive or previously not synthesizable in a lab now that's the computational side of chemistry or predictive side of chemistry let's go to the next side and that is drug discovery we all know as a chemist that all drugs are chemicals the biggest problem they solve is disease right and that is where pharma comes into picture now today we have llm models large language language models which also we call it as generative models which is designed to screen candidate molecules in fact eli lilly is building a supercomputer for its llm right so predictive models are uh, coming into picture which will be able to forecast biodiversity bioactivity adamt properties dmpk properties and toxicology properties ai guided synthesis planning will integrate with automated labs and it will help us screen can uh, drug candidates faster bring in more efficiency bring in more uh, repurposing projects wherein we can repurpose the same drug for some other feature pharmacophore activity screening and all of that we can do structure activity relationship analysis we can do using ai so that actually itself is a revolution okay bigger than predictive chemistry and computational chemistry because if ai can shake up the entire 1 trillion dollar pharma industry imagine the power of ai right so that's the second side the third side where ai will explode or it will help um, and create a lot of jobs is the organic synthesis and reaction engineering you look at this retro synthesis models are in place today which is optimizing the synthetic roots to uh, generate organic compounds today we are able to predict the reaction outcomes based on various variables like temperature like uh, catalyst without even doing the experiment right agentic ai and robotics will help us tomorrow in designing synthetic pathways for synthesis of organic compounds now that's something really amazing right now moving moving ahead we will also see revolution in the materials chemistry and discovery ai is very good in structure activity correlation relationships we will be able to predict design of polymers catalysts alloys battery materials multi objective optimizations and we will be able to do high throughput virtual screening which will outpace experimental throughput now this will help us automate and do more research in energy storage sustainable materials and quantum materials and this is where the real challenge comes into picture we all have ai which is based on silicon chips tomorrow it will be based on quantum computing so it will be even faster right coming to chemical catalyst now there are a lot of companies in chemi chemical catalysis which are trying to optimize industrial processes right like leather industry tanning industry so now we will have we have accurate models which can predict the sites and optimal uh, reaction conditions it can help us discover non intuitive catalytic systems and it will help us integrate with scale up and process design now this will help us improve the efficiency and sustainability of the chemical biomanufacturing process for example today we have lot of chemicals or catalysts which will actually spoil the environment we'll be able to create it in a sustainable way we'll be able to create we will be able to increase the efficiency of that catalyst now that is 
the next revolution. Coming to process chemistry and manufacturing, predictive maintenance and optimization of reactors, big problem because reactors suddenly wear out and that leads to a lot of breakdowns, right? We can stop that. We'll be able to do real-time monitoring and feedback via machine learning, and we will be able to do more sustainable, less wasteful processes. Now, imagine smarter factories for pharma and chemistry, right? Next is cheminformatics. Now, cheminformatics is a real game changer. And in fact, cheminformatics was not growing. To be honest, I have seen cheminformatics really struggling. And I was like, hey, this is a waste field. But today, cheminformatics is exploding. We, will, we are able to standardize and mine global chemical data at the click of a finger, right? And then we are using able to use AI to, you know, screen through. That's amazing, right? We'll, we are able to connect disparate data sets into predictive ecosystems, right? And the best part, the moment we combine AI and cheminformatics, this is like cutting edge. This trend is leading to a lot of automation, a lot of efficiency, a lot of cost cutting, a lot of environmental sustenance, and on the top of it, a lot of demand for all of you. Now, the traditional chemist is going to, you know, lose their jobs. Why? Because AI-powered chemists are coming, which is Gen Z, which is all of you. You won't be playing with chemicals in the lab. You will be playing with drug molecules or chemicals inside a computer screen. Now, for that to happen, you have to learn AI ML and chemistry. How do you do that? Very simple. From 22nd of December, 2025 onwards, we are starting on the Rasayanikas platform, AI ML and chemistry, chem informatics. You can take more details about it from our scientists. The details are given in the description through the WhatsApp number. And then you can talk to me also through that same WhatsApp number. And you can talk to our experts also. Now, once you understand how this is going to impact every part of your um, chemistry career, time has come that you dive in. I cannot stress this enough that just like how typists and typewriters got obsolete, the traditional chemists who play in the lab are going to be out of fashion. Tomorrow, companies are going to hire people who know Python, R, and how do you use cheminformatics in drug discovery, how do you use uh, cheminformatics and um, AI in their chemical process. Tomorrow, you are going to design a catalyst for the industry, but inside a computer, right? You're going to speed up the process of chemistry. You're going to bring in a lot of efficiency, cost cutting, and environmental sustainability. All of that just because AI is known to you. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description, learn AI with Biotechnica and Rasayanika scientists. Then we will create a better future for all of you. So all the best and see you soon in this project-oriented training. And if you have any questions, talk to a scientist. WhatsApp number in the comment section. All the best.